You know, Nation, how fitting is this? I start doing a series of reviews. It's going to be dedicated to the Mega Death discography, and another member of the Big Four comes through and comes out, gives us a new track to listen to. That's, of course, Fight Till You Can't by Anthrax, which was just released via SoundCloud. This is a brand new song that was just posted by the band. This is from the band's uh, long-awaited comeback album. A couple years ago, the name drop that was being used, tossed around for this album, was Worship Music. Not so sure if that's still going to be the title of it or anything like that. However, the song has dropped. We've gotten our first chance to listen to what Anthrax sounds like. But we already know what this Anthrax should sound like. It's Anthrax, Joey Belladonna on the vocals. It's just like the old days. Just like the classic, classic Anthrax era. And this is not taking anything away from what John Bush has been able to do. Not taking anything away from what he's been able to accomplish with the band. I prefer him an Armored Saint. So we're going to get that argument out of the way right now. But we're going to talk about this song. It's right here, 2011. It's been a long time since we've heard any any kind of stirring from the Anthrax camp ever since uh, many, many series of events have gone down. And of course, whenever Joey came back into the fold here in 2010, he did commit to a new album. And well, we hadn't heard much until now. And all I got to say is this is a mother of a fucking song. Yeah, this song really just reminds you of the classic era Anthrax. It really has that vibe to it. It only has a really updated production sound to it. It has a very mature edge to it. Yes, it's not quite as dirty. It's not quite as just, you know, all over the place. But all of the traditional Anthrax values are really retained on this on this song right here, on Fight Till You Can't. And it's one of those songs that has a real anthemic vibe to it. It was a real good song to choose. Uh, as a real lead-off single, either that or as the first snippet, the first taste that us hungry fans get of what the new album is going to sound like. The solo is furious. The song itself just really bowls through. It's five minutes and 50 seconds of your life that goes by in an instant, and you uh, instantly feel yourself wanting to go back, press the rewind button a little bit, and really relive some of the uh, more... Uh, ambitious and incredible moments of it all over again. This is an exciting time, ladies and gentlemen. This is a song that it really, really inspires a lot of people to dust off their old Anthrax gear, listen to Persistence of Time, or or one of those old albums from the 1980s, and just really revel in the fact that Anthrax is back. Yeah, I rarely do track reviews, but whenever I do, I expect to be wild. Whenever I'm not, I'm pissed. I'm wild. Love this song. Highly recommend it. I'm going to have a link in the description box. That way you guys can go and check it out if this is news to you. Sit back, relax, enjoy this song, and get excited. Because this means that the Anthrax album is hopefully right on the horizon. And we'll have something really positive to talk about. Hopefully maybe fourth quarter this year. If not, first or second quarter next year. Later, guys.